Hello guys, it's Johnny Tam and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. Polygon Network is under distributed denial of service attack, DDoS attack. So if you are using Polygon with your wallet and you see some errors that you cannot connect to Polygon, it's due to this attack. Or if you are sending transactions and they are stuck, there it's because of this attack. So in this video, we're gonna learn everything that we need to know about Polygon, about this kind of attack, what it means on the Matic token and the Polygon network. Is it bearish? Is it bullish? What I think from a DeFi master perspective solidity smart contracts developer blockchain analyst uh, all my opinions and what I basically all the research that I did I'm gonna share it with you explain why it's happening what it means and how you can resolve this kind of issue with your wallet with the pending transactions and the stack connecting circle to Matic network with your MetaMask wallet and if this kind of thing is interesting for you and you want to learn from me uh, one who is doing full-time research on DeFi smart contracts developer blockchain analyst please make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification button so anytime I post new educational videos you can watch them while they're hot also consider joining the new discord community the Johnny time family the link will be in the description below if you have any questions you can ask them there I will be active there you can direct message me or ask pe people in the chats <coughs> there are a lot of smart people in the community that will help you out uh, in general in DeFi so th that's about it now without further ado let's get started with the video All right, so if you go now to oracle.info slash poly, it's a website that shows the current gas and you can see that the standard is 700 GWI, which is 20 cents. This is super high to total polygon. Usually it's lower than one cent. If you want your transaction to be mined fast, it will be 32 cents. And if you want it to be instant, it's almost half a dollar. And this is very unusual for polygon. If you go to polygon scan, you can see kind of same metrics, 600 GWI, 800 GWI, and this is very very unusual and this is due to distributed denial of service attack so what does distributed denial of service attack means it means that there are a lot of different computers users that are basically sending a lot of transactions with high transaction fees to the smart contracts of some kind of DeFi app on the Polygon network. And while they are doing it, basically they are um, hiring and making increasing the gas price because how it works is basically that the validators and the miners of the Polygon network, they are gonna include in the block the transaction with the highest amount of gas fees. And when there is more de demand to be included in the, in the block and people are willing to pay higher gas fees, we will understand in a moment why and how this attack is being executed. It's not like a malicious intent, intent, malicious intent attack, but something that happened to a, a DeFi application, decentralized application on the Polygon network. We will understand exactly how it works. So basically, more people want to be included in the, in the block, willing to pay higher gases, and this is what happens. The gas price is going high, uh, high. and it's all because a DeFi game gold sunflower nft game and if you go to polygon scan right here you can see that the smart contracts that consume the biggest amount of matic of gas is the smart contract of the sunflower game you can also get updated on the reddit of polygon the two subreddits polygon network and zero x polygon and let's see what this kind of sunflower nft game is and how you guys can solve this kind of errors that you have with your polygon network if it's pending transaction stack transaction or just infinite loading so you know what let's talk a bit about how um it happened what is the sunflower game is so this is sunflower game it's basically a game a DeFi game that rewards the user with a token called sunflower that's now worth 1.5 dollar and how you reward it you basically send a transaction you click so the more you click and you send transactions to smart contracts the more sunflower tokens you're gonna get so basically this game incentivizes people to send bunch of transactions to smart contracts the more transaction the more sff token you're gonna you're gonna get and every sff token is 1.5 dollar you can see that the price is going down because people are selling to the liquidity more sff tokens and that's the reason that there are so many people 
for may, maybe pool countries that sitting all day in front of the computer and clicking and sending transactions in order to get those SS, SFF tokens. Also, there are a lot of bots, people who made bots that interact with the smart contracts and set a lot of transactions to get more SS, SFF tokens and probably these bots are also selling it and decreasing the price. So actually, it will not stop. It will be even uh, more severe until it will be not profitable. When it will be not profitable? When the transaction cost for claiming those SFF tokens will be more expensive than the actual SFF tokens. It will be probably happen soon because there is limited amount of liquidity that and limited amount of money that these kind of SFF tokens can be sold for. So what I expect to see is the SFF token going down, the highs the gas price goes up and suddenly there will be a point when they will be equal so it will be around one dollar maybe 80 cents so the gas price will keep going out up until there is still liquidity for this fff token to sell and so i don't expect this kind of attack to be mitigated soon probably one day two days i don't know but this is super interesting thing to see actually for a DeFi a researcher a blockchain developer it's super interesting to see what happens when there is one app that incentivizes users to create distributed denial of service so you have denial of service which there is one entity who is attacking the polygon and creating a lot of um, overuse of the polygon network but the, here you can see a decentralized app that with an incentive making a lot of people distribute a denial of service to send a lot of transaction with high gas to the polygon network because it's profitable for them if it's bots or users so this is super super interesting and if you want to get more in depth into it you can go to the official 0x polygon and if you go to the reddit you can definitely see that Everyone is complaining about the gas fees and about the network is being laggy. Fix your goddamn network polygon, New Year polygon and Sunflower Farms. Please stop asking for gas. Polygon is by blah, 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 blah. So what? My transaction is not showing up. Oh my God, Sunflower Farm. Everyone is talking about it right now. This is super hot topic. And this is due to the, the recent thing that you actually see. Polygon network does not work. You need to say higher fees, higher fees transactions and if you want a detailed explanation about it's basically what I just explained to you but a bit more detail you can go to this kind of post it's super interesting post by uh, Letty and here he, he or she basically explains what is this kind of attack is what are the causes of it and what it means why it happens and basically it's super interesting uh, thread on reddit that I read and I learned about it that that's how I was able to explain it to you in a very easy way so this is what i'm doing here in johnny time trying to simplify complex ideas for you guys that's what i do best research and simplify stuff and educate so that's why i'm here and if you're interested with these kind of videos please make sure to subscribe and click the bell button so yeah that's about it that's why it happens now let's see how we can uh, walk around it and if you still want to send transaction with polygon how you actually gonna do it. So the first thing that you want to do is actually, if you have this kind of error where uh, your wallet is not connected and you see, you change to, uh, let's say, Polygon Mainnet, you can see the infinite loading uh, screen and it's not being connected to Polygon. What you want to do is to change your RPC node of Polygon. How are you basically gonna do it? You're gonna click here on uh, the avatar here on MetaMask Wallet. Then you're gonna go to settings. When you go to settings, you scroll down until you see networks. What you're gonna do here is find Polygon. It's might called Matic, Polygon, basically the Polygon chain. You're gonna click on the Polygon network and you're gonna remove it. Right now I cannot remove it because I'm selected on Polygon, so make sure to switch to another uh, network. And then you're gonna click here, Polygon, and delete, okay? Because probably the current RPC node that you are working with is being attacked by so many people or are trying to send transaction to this kind of sunflower farm smart contract. So you want to remove the current node that you are interacting with with MetaMask. Then the next thing we want to go is go to quickswap.exchange and connect your wallet and now we're gonna click here on the bottom switch to polygon and it will probably automatically add the another rpc node the polygon rpc.com polygon Manet. you click here approve switch and bam there you go guys now you're connected to another rpc node and this node is probably less loaded than the previous one that you just used and that's why now you will be able to send transactions now if you will send transactions and you'll use the default gas it won't work 
That's why when you send transactions, you want to change the gas price. You have to edit the gas price and change the gas price that you are willing to pay. Now, if, how do you know which gas price you want to use? You can either go to oracle.info slash poly or change here to polygon or either to polygonscan.com slash gas tracker. Here you can see what is a standard gas means, fast and rapid. So if you want to make sure that your transaction will go through fast, rapid, make sure to choose the fast one. Try 1000 GWI, 1100. If you want it instant, then use 1500. If you're willing to wait, then use somewhere between 700 or 800 GWI. So this is basically how you currently, in the current situation of the DDoS attack on Polygon Network, this is the workaround that I found working well for me. Changing the RPC node, going to oracle.info or to Polygon Scan and putting higher gas fees for my transaction if you want them to be included in the block. By the way, there is also a reply for uh, Amen, which is in the Polygon team. And he writes, I don't think those are the right metrics to think about being a completely decentralized chain. We cannot prevent bot interactions with the chain. And even if there is a way, it will be highly controversial. This is the least we expect from our valuable community. The SFF Sunflower Farm contract is public and is immutable, which means no one can change it. And it is affecting their user base as well. So basically, this token is going to go to zero because they uh, reward people for sending just transaction to the smart contract and it's going to affect the user base and it's some kind of thing that's going to disappear probably once the liquidity is being uh, run over and what he's saying basically here is being on the side if the chain is behaving in an unexpected then yes there is no issue with the chain it's just a high gas fees right now cause due to a high volume of transactions coming through. So they're basically saying there is no issue with the chain. There is something that nothing that they're going to do. It just do. Uh, I, I think that I don't think that he's right 100 percent. But who am I to judge? But he's basically saying that it's part of the decentralization. There is uh, people that are willing to pay the gas fees. So if you want your transaction to be included, then you will have to pay higher fees. Polygon uses first price action. Uh, which means that the higher gas fees transactions are getting to the block first. For this to happen, every sender of transaction puts a bid for the transaction to happen, and that because a few dApps, and that because of few dApps, the consumption of network and gas fee is increased a lot. Uh, that the SFF team is working on figuring out. I really hope good things from the community. So basically saying that's how it is, that's how it works. This is the SFF problem. We're not going to do anything about it. We'll just have to wait until the SFF token price goes to the Polygon gas price. And that's probably when this attack is going to be ended. And yeah, that's about it. That's about the Polygon distributed a lot of service and all the problems that you face in the Polygon network. If you learn something new and you appreciate this kind of content, please consider clicking the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to get exposed to more educational content like this one, please make sure to subscribe and click the bell notification button so you can become DeFi master here with me in Johnny time. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below or even better, join the Discord community and let's talk there. Thank you so much for watching my videos and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.